As the airports in Europe slowly opened after days of closure, people around the world stopped worrying about the effects of the erupting volcano. People in Iceland, however, will have to live with the effects for a much longer time. The eruption is still going on at the levels it had from the beginning. Magma is still pouring out, creating large lava streams. Ash is still thrown into the air, but with less explosive ferocity than in the beginning. But the Icelandic geological dance must be a concern for everyone around the world. These scientists are driving up on the Myrdals Glacier, one of the largest glaciers in Iceland. It sits on top of the Katla volcano, which is many times more powerful than the neighboring Eyjafjallajökull volcano. To make matters worse, the two volcanoes appear to be linked. The question is not if Katla will explode, but when. The series of events this time around started in a narrow area between the two glaciers. The larger ash plume eruption came from the crater under the Eyjafjallajökull glacier to the west. The Myrdals glacier to the east is much larger, and the volcano under the ice cap is of a totally different magnitude. If the Eyjafjallajökull eruption has been a problem, an eruption from Katla will be a catastrophe on a different scale. Right next to Eyjafjallajökull is Katla volcano. It's a much bigger volcano, and its eruptions have traditionally followed on Eyjafjallajökull's eruptions. Katla's eruptions are truly explosive, and they produce a huge amount of ash fallout. Its eruption in the, in the future will produce an effect on global aviation and could possibly cut out global telecommunications as well. So Katla is really the big problem. This glacier has grown to a thickness of up to 600 meters, right in the middle of the Katla volcano. There is a dynamic force between the two, fire and ice, hot and cold. By placing a sensitive satellite measuring device, scientists can track the uplifting, which already amounts to almost two centimeters a year. Some five kilometers beneath their feet, a large chamber of magma is boiling, and pressure mounts under the glacier, lifting the rock upwards. Historically, Katla erupts violently every half century or so. The last major eruption was in 1918, so a new catastrophe is overdue. But even more concerning is that historically, when Eyjafjallajökull volcano has erupted, it has also triggered Katla to explode. Will the recent eruption set off a deadly dance of enormous proportions? If so, the resulting impact on global commerce, health, and people's lives might be felt for months or more. What the volcanoes in Iceland have in store for the world is unpredictable. The landscape of the country bears the scars of regular eruptions. Many have caused severe global effects. We can only wait and wonder as under the beautiful Icelandic landscape, the earth continues to rumble.